Hi and welcome to Heart to Heart with Eva. Um, we are here to talk about the movement from 3D into high dimensions. And I would like to put a headline to that, a conscious balancing act. And what do I mean by that? Well, to get a balance within yourself, we need to look at our comfort zones. And what is our comfort zones? Well, it's pretty much what we've got in this moment. So the comfort zones can be both positive and they can be negative too. So if we start with the positive comfort zones, it's the comfort zones that makes you feel like you are worth something, that brings you comfort, that brings happiness and joy and makes you grow uh, in a spiritual way or in another way, but it makes you feel good about yourself. You know what you have and that can be a place that are your comfort zone, like your home. It can also be at work. You can feel a comfort zone at your work. It can be with friends. It can be with family. It can be almost anything, but it makes you feel like you're actually happy, comfort, and secure, and joyful. And it can also be a negative comfort zone. And that can also be be um, related to your work, your family, relationships, your home. But we are going to focus right now on the work. And if I take a workplace, for most of the people here are moving to work a couple of days a week at least, and it's not by free will, it's a choice to get a salary. So many people go to the work, they do what they are expected to do, but it doesn't bring them joy in the sense that a good comfort zone should be feeling. And uh, the co-workers who are there may be in some ways not the kind of people you would like to be associated with or to hang out with but you have to be there and be respectful hopefully you are respectful to your co-workers even though they are not the way you think they should be so that can be a trigger point for you and if i ask you why are you still there? Why doesn't you move out from that uncomfortable comfort zone into another work? Why don't you move and do something that you really want to do from within, with your heart, and spread that joy you are feeling when you are doing it in and out to the world? Yeah, well, it's because that is what you got at the moment. And you know that if you show up at the work you have, and if you just deal with the issues that are coming up during the days, and you keep up with it the month, all the month, you will get your salary in the end of the month. And that salary will bring a paycheck that you can pay your rent and uh, pay other bills and perhaps also make it possible to do things that brings joy into your life. So that comfort zone, even though it's an uncomfortable zone, is a comfort zone. And it feels a purpose. So if you are stepping out of it, you are not sure about what you will get if you are trying something new maybe you have to go down in salary maybe you meet people that aren't much better than the co-workers that you are working with or maybe the new work doesn't bring you the challenges that you thought it would 
So instead of taking that leap of faith into something unknown and try that out and see what happens, we are feeling safe by staying in this relationship. And I will call it relationship because as soon as we interact with other people, there are a relation. And um, this goes for private relations within family structures too or friend structures but now we are talking about work so how should we make the most of that uncomfortable comfort zone because that is what I want to address at the moment in this uncomfortable comfort zone there are a lot of trigger points and those trigger points need to be addressed at this moment you really do need to look at what is it that makes you triggered at your work what is it that makes you feel annoyed irritating or longing for something else because that is a reflection of something that isn't solved within yourself and you need to actually go inside of yourself and look at why are you triggered by someone else's behavior why because you can't put the judgment on other people because we are a couple of million people here on earth so we are not as one human being I am not perfect I might think I'm perfect I am perfect so to speak that I am a God's creation but according to the other seven million people billion people that are living here on earth are probably not perfect in their eyes and that's totally fine but if that is a trigger point for you you really need to look at what what is it that triggers you in that moment because that is an issue lying within yourself not at that person you are looking at and the behavior that person has could be the heaven behavior for someone else that person that you doesn't like can be everything to someone else and the best thing that has happened to them and if that is disturbing you then it's not about them it's about you so all the trigger points that are arising in your life are something that you need to look within yourself why because if there are a trigger point and there is a why you have unsolved issues that needs to be brought up and healed by yourself work it through you can't put that work or burden onto someone else you need to do it you need to work it through you need to work through your issues with someone at your work the work by itself or whatever it is there are a trigger point in your life and you need to solve it you need to look at it you need to work through it and you need to release it make peace with it because most of the people including myself we are relying on our salary so if there is something about my work that I get triggered by I need to look at what it is that triggers me and why I am responding to that because when I know what makes me respond to something at my work I can actually work through it I can reevaluate it if it really matters in my life and see how I can release it forgive it let it go just to heal it and let it be 
And when I've been working through those issues, the work by itself isn't bad. So the uncomfortable comfort zones turns it from a negative point into something positive. I might still have to work to get salary to pay my bills because the shift isn't completed yet. We are moving slowly from 3D into high dimensions, but we are still need to get some kind of moving energies in form of payment. And we have different ways to go to that direction. But if we are triggered within ourselves by someone or at something and we are using that trigger point to bring in negative energy into that meeting to treat someone else badly or poor just because I responding in a bad way to something or someone then it's not them that are the problem. I am. I need to focus on what brings me those emotions and work through it, heal them and let go of them. And when I'm doing that, I can also start to focusing on what I want how I want to move forward because this is not just a infinite symbol it's not a plus and a minus you can also see it as an upward spiral downward spiral and the minus is the downward and the plus is the upward and if you are being dragged into something and let those trigger points constantly eat itself into your essence and being you will go lower and lower and lower within your own energy field and that is also what you are putting out there so as soon as you are getting more aware of what you are thinking how you are responding and how you are dealing with it the sooner we will, you will start to go upwards and it will get easier and easier and easier and I'm not saying that just because you have a trigger point it will all go away tomorrow now maybe you have to work a bit harder than that and if you don't God bless you but most of us do have to work with those and it starts with getting a knowledge about why why we are reacting the way we are doing so move away from that downward spiral spiral and keep the focus on what we want because we want to move on and to move out of this uncomfortable comfort zone is to be aware of what you want to go with your life and what you want to achieve and what kind of emotions and feelings you are wanting to have within yourself and that you want to put out there and to be sharing with the rest of the people. So you also have to take that leap of faith sometime. And maybe it's not that I'm asking you to step out of a relationship or shift your friends or move out from your job because that can create some massive stress when you doesn't when you don't have a plan or have started something new and, and doesn't know where to to move forward to but try to take that leap of faith and use it as a creative energy a creative energy to start looking to the possibilities you have to change your own reality because maybe there is that you can start doing something on your spare time or if there is people you want to change in your life maybe you want to move from one circle of 
mentality into another circle of mentality, then start looking at those groups that those people that you want to be with are within and try to move closer to them and don't be afraid to share how you feel and how you would like to react with the new people that you are meeting because relationships are taking time to build even here in this world but even then in the spiritual realms you just doesn't pop into another realm and say hi i'm here and we are so <laughs> old acquaintances even if we are it takes time to build that trust especially when you come with a human body so get your choices consciously and when you are doing that also step into the, the to the role that you are supporting other people's choices because life is all about choices everywhere it's choices and you have the power and you have the will to make your own choices do you want to move in an upward spiral or do you want to move in a downward spiral do you want to be in the plus size or do you want to be in the minus side well it's your choice but you also need to realize that everybody has the same choice that you do so if your choices or the way you live your life isn't is isn't aligned with how i live my life i can be supportive to letting you be you and to clear out some misunderstanding supporting doesn't mean that you have to be fully active in someone else's life i don't have to step in and support financial or being there totally emotional for someone else no supporting everybody's choices is to be centered within myself and allowing other people to be centered within themselves and if they make a choice that aren't the one that i will make i will not let it get a trigger point for me i will supporting them by saying it's your life you have a free will and it's your choice choose wisely so supporting can be an act of emotion an empathy act a compassionate act a act of love so don't get that mixed with that you have to step in to support financial or to always be there clearing out someone else's life no supporting someone else that can be something that you are doing by allowing them to evolve express and be who they are without judgment from yourself and that is one way to not getting tricked by trigger points and go downward downward that spiral so in the end of everything when you are getting in that mood because we are probably for a long bit in the future ahead in the future we are getting trigger points so next time you step into let's say work and you feel the minus side adding up think of yourself like do you want to be a part of the solution or do you want to be a part of the problem it's your choice to move upwards or downwards and that is the topic a conscious balancing act that is your free will and uh, you have the choice to handle that however you want to do so go inside stay centered and uh, 
Ask yourself, do you want to be a part of the solution or do you want to be a part of the problem? So, thank you for listening in to this one and if this is something that are in line with what you are feeling or can relate to, then uh, please take it to your heart. And if it doesn't, take it to your heart and use it as a chance to work through any trigger points. This is a collective emotion and state of mind that we are all being placed within right now. Be a part of the solution or be a part of the problem. Bless you.